Okay, in here what I'm showing you, this is muslin, this fabric. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a cut. And then I'm going to just rip it out like that. I'm just showing you what I'm doing because I'm um, cutting a big piece of muslin to give it a wash in this, uh, this to this fabric. And after I do that, I'm going to, this is going to be the ribbon that is going to tie my book together. I'm going to punch a hole in here. And that's what is going to tie it. But first, this piece, big piece of muslin, I'm going to show you how to just do a wash on it. And I just show you how to rip it out um, so you have the same width. All, all over it okay okay in a bowl of water big enough to put your um, string of muslin add uh, I have an uh, like a one cup in here all I'm going to do is I'm going to add paint to that not too much just to create a wash this is Parisian pink okay together okay. um, and in here you can just get creative you can add uh, different kinds of colors in there I would say um, you keep adding paint to this water until you see that it has like a color that you like. I want to stay with my same pattern. So, and then just put the, your muslin inside and it's going to get that coloring. Muslin um, is very nice for creating colors create you know it will absorb colors very nicely and um, this is pretty much what you're gonna do you can see that mine is already turning that pink and then of course oops sorry then of course you can just let it dry um, like doing like if you were washing clothes it's good to get the color in and you continue to do this until you don't see that there's any um, like that beige color of muslin. It's up to you what you want to do. Um, if you want it to just uh, be like a two different, like a dye that has like two different colors in it. I want mine to be kind of pinky and what I do is that I just um, try for all the water to kind of come out of it by squeezing it. Cause I like it to be all corrugated when I when it gets um, when it starts to dry. So if that's what you like, fine. If not, I mean you can even iron these if you want it flat. But I like it all corrugated. So I'm just gonna squeeze it in, and this is the way it is. And I'm gonna let it dry, and that's what I'm gonna use to um, tie my my cover, my the back and the front and the back together. The ribbon that I'm going to use okay okay this is what I use to perforate a hole that I'm that is going to be the one um, that I put through the ribbon they're really good strong and you need it for these kind of covers of course you can use any type of punch so I'm um, I you know I'm just using my eye to kind of pick the center. You, of course, you can use a ruler. And uh, there it goes. I got my hole. The reason why I use doing the hole right now is because I'm going to apply flowers and wordings and stuff, and I just want to make sure that I know where that one is going to go. And of course, now you have to do the back. So, I'm not using any rulers or anything, but you could, so you don't do what I'm doing. 
I'm not very picky on these kinds of stuff. Some people are. So, there it is. Same. And bunch. Okay. So now I have those two holes. Now I know what I'm working with. And now get your modeling paste out. We're going to put some flowers in.